This exercise is called the wood chop, so it's a fantastic exercise for building torque. If you've got any, any athletes or any clients that really need that rotational core strength, wood chop is a fantastic exercise. So also works the legs, core, and upper body in unison as well. So with this, when we're at the bottom position, we're gonna start off with our feet round about shoulder width apart. When we're in that bottom position, similar to what we did with the yoke, we're just making sure that this knee tracks that toe. And we're gonna bring down on our bag. We're actually gonna be slightly hinged from the hips. So we're gonna keep our midline of the body facing the midline of the bag. We're actually gonna do a little bit of a hip hinge from here. From here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep these elbows slightly soft so they're not locked out, so slightly bent. And then we're gonna really falsely bring that right arm over across the body. Okay, and we're gonna finish with our chest facing upwards. So try and initiate the movement as much as possible from the core and from that backhand, bringing it across. Okay, so really squeeze tight as you can through the abs, rotate from the core and simultaneously punch that right arm across. When I finish in this position here, both of my knees are still tracking my toes. So we don't want to internally extend, externally rotate the knees going to cause a lot of problems otherwise. Okay, so from here, chest is facing up, eyes are on the bag, pivot, squish the bug on the back foot, chest is facing down, hinge the hips slightly, elbows are slightly bent. And with this, you can either do it as a, a rhythm lift or you can do a collision lift where you're trying to create as much force in that bag as possible. Okay, and we'll just do a few reps on the side as well. <laughs> 